It's like a finger exercise. I just died because I can't control my mouse. Oh yeah. So I was on Twitter the other day when this weird thing popped up. At first I thought it was a Thanos glove, but then I realized it was a keyboard. And being the weird keyboard lady that I am, I knew I had to check out this weird device. Could this be the end game keyboard that I've been waiting for? So naturally, I went onto this website for an impulse buy. But it turns out, it's $200! Why is this thing so steep? But there's so many options! Green's cute though. At this point, I had to decide if I was going to spend money on something so strange. I'd spent thousands of dollars on keyboards before, but just how far is too far? I bought a refurbished, it's a little cheaper. After my purchase, I had to patiently wait for this thing to arrive from Latvia! Wait, why are they building these bionic hands in Latvia? They must be knowing something that we don't. Okay, so it took about a week for it to arrive from Latvia to Texas. Not bad. And once it arrived, I was so excited to open it up. The box looks really cool. It's got a nice logo, like a dragon. Made in Latvia with love. I don't think anything's broken. Don't do that. Oh my god. <gasps> a box. Don't need that anymore. So it's got a strange contraption and you can't see any of it except this. Once you pull, there's no going back. Are we ready to pull? I think you pull it like this. Oh, it's another box. <gasps> a box of accessories. <laughs> there it is. Wow, this thing looks freaky. Finally, someone to hold my hand when I'm gaming. I like it. It's weird. If I saw this on someone else's desk, I'd be like, what you doing there? Where's the lotion? Accessory box. It's gonna be a disturbing sound. First, there's a cable. It's not USB-C. It feels like... Like a really big hand. Like I can't press anything else except these bottom buttons. These buttons feel like mouse clicks. They even sound like it. Mouse button. Keyboard button. Definitely doesn't feel like a keyboard. All the fingers are adjustable. A $200 back scratcher. Oh yeah. We got a big joystick and a mini joystick, and it presses. They both press. They've provided cute little mini people tools like these. What are these? Screwdrivers for ants? There are no instruction manuals, so I'm feeling a little lost. Look at these cute veins. The hand. Aw, Star Trek, ha <laughs> ha. I guess you could say this thing is handy. It's more of a mouse than a keyboard, but they call it a gaming keypad. So I know. They mean to compare this to where your keyboard should be when you're gaming. We've got WASD here on the thumb joystick, which is supposed to be movement. And then these keys are supposed to be for changing weapons, reloading, WASD, space, on a regular keyboard, it's pretty easy to press. So very different movements, very different patterns, and no one expects you to type anything on this thing. So while you're using a normal keyboard to talk trash while gaming, you're gonna use this to be actually gaming, and then a mouse on the side, so that's three things on your desk. True gamer life. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> going from a regular keyboard, the one-handed gaming keyboard is probably the easier switch and transition. But to this thing, it's definitely more of a leap. If you're going from a controller like the PS5 or the Xbox to this thing, having the joystick right here is definitely an easier adjustment. But what about a split keyboard? Talking trash, 
and then going here and then playing. But this requires you to have a really spacious desk. Unattach the right side and then start gaming away. This doesn't have as much versatility. A ergonomic keyboard. You still can talk trash while you're playing games. And you can also press WASD and jump and crouch and all that stuff and arrow keys if you need that and one, two, three, four. It's like a finger exercise. I'm strengthening my hand tendons. Yeah, strength, power. Lots of tools here. We've got the cable. I should put all these small joysticks back into the pouch just for placement. Tiny tools. These fingers can be tightened a little bit more. to install the software. It's lit up so we know that it works. What is this? Thumb. Escape. It's right up, down. T, E, Q, G, R, E. Space. Now make this control. Make this Space, 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 one, two, three, four, click, click, E, X, C, V, E. Hmm, that looks good. I only got the first four slots. He's going. Oh, yeah, I still feel like things are just wrong here. One, two, three, four. Really hard to, to use. Yes! My heart is literally racing right now. It does get tiring on the thumb. <laughs> Pink is dead. <laughs> I literally cannot control my joystick. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see, I see. If I program it in the game. Slot five, six. Oh, my arm is freaking tired. I thought it was really comfortable. I adjusted it to my liking. But now that I'm using it in game, it is not the most comfortable. My thumb feels a lot of stress. It just died because I can't control my my mouse. I quit this game. I can't handle it anymore. I'm ready to win. If you're ready to win. Are you? Are you? Are you? None of my buttons work. Couldn't jump because of my stupid joy pad, joystick, key pad, joy con, whatever the heck you want to call this. Okay, I've played a few games with this gaming keypad and I know I didn't do awesome, <laughs> but I did manage to get a few kills and I also managed to get to the last game of Squid Game, which I'm pretty proud of, but because of this stupid joystick, I couldn't even make the first jump and that sucks. The first impressions is that this gets really, really sweaty here, especially with my palms resting here the entire time. You also have to make sure it is at a good angle for your wrist or else you're gonna be doing this the whole time or something strange like that. But right now, after using it for a couple hours, I wouldn't understand why someone would go from a regular keyboard to this. It just doesn't make any sense right now. The buttons are harder to reach. You have to remember what buttons are what. I'm always accidentally hitting this one and I could move it back and I will. And moving with this is absolutely impossible right now. Every time I tried to bridge something, I would accidentally go to the left or go to the right and just fall down. Same with the same with Roblox. The whole thing is just a disaster right now. Overall, this keyboard is really weird to use while gaming, and you can't really do any typing on it, or at least I haven't tried yet. There's only 22 keys, so it's not like you can even type the entire alphabet even if you wanted to. 
but these people from Latvia are really on to something here. It's hard to say whether it's amazing or not amazing without giving it a real chance first. If you want to see me use this hand for 30 days, comment down below what game you want me to really play and get good at, and watch this video right here. You'll really like it. Click. Click. Oh, we don't need that! That was lame. It's like a lunchbox! I'm bringing this to school! Finally, someone to hold my hand when I'm kidding. <laughs> what you doing there? Not Where's the lotion? <laughs> Live long and prosper. That's too nerdy. 